Welcome to Electron Line. Let's do the same one we did on the previous video, but this time we're only going to use the equation of kinematics. Remember that we used the graph, the velocity versus time graph, and the area underneath the curve to help us solve this problem. But in this case, we're simply going to use the equation of kinematics. Again, the problem is that we have a diver that dives from a certain height, dives upward, turns around, of course, eventually the diver will reach a maximum height, and the diver will then plunge into the pool the velocity when the diver reaches the pool is a minus 10.1 meters per second and the whole trip lasts 1.2 seconds which means that the diver must have had some initial upward velocity before the diver comes back down and we're asked to find the displacement only this distance right here from the starting point to the ending point and of course we need to then ignore somehow this portion of the trip we only want the displacement portion how do we do that well, the first thing we want to do is try to find the initial velocity. And to do that, we're going to use the second equation right here. We can write that V equals V initial plus G times T. And solving this for V initial, we get V initial is equal to V minus G T. And when plugging the proper values, the final velocity is a minus 10.1 minus a minus 9.8 times the time for the total trip, which is 1.2 seconds. So let's see what our initial velocity is. So 9, 9.8 9 times 1.2, and then uh, we subtract from that 10.1, and we get 1.66. So we know that our initial velocity is equal to 1.66, and that would be meters per second positive because the diver starts in an upward direction. Now we need to find the displacement, and the displacement can be found by finding the delta y here in this third equation. So what we can do is we can write that v squared, that's the final velocity squared, is equal to v initial squared plus 2g times the delta y. And the delta y here will be our displacement. Okay, so we're going to solve this for delta y. We have v squared minus v initial squared equals 2g delta y, or delta y is going to be equal to the final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared divided by 2 times g. Remembering that g, of course, with, with the equations of kinematics, is going to be a minus 9.8. So this becomes a minus 10.1 squared minus... 1.66, is it 66 squared? Yes, 66 squared, all divided by 2 times a minus 9.8. And let's see what that is equal to. And notice we end up with a minus 5.06 meters, minus, which indicates it's a negative displacement. So my delta y does tell me that from the starting point, to the end point, ignoring these distances because they will cancel out in terms of displacement. We only calculated this distance right there, and that's the correct value for the final displacement of that particular diver. And that's, also, that's how it's done using the equation of kinematics.